Ever felt like you're running out of time to achieve your goals? Time debt is robbing you of your dreams right now, one minute at a time, and you may not even realize it. You need to take control of your destiny and break free from the chains of wasted time. And I'm going to show you how right now. Hey there, my name is Isai Rodriguez, and this is where we build leadership skills and home business profits, your leadership skills and home business profits, one actionable tip at a time. So hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's jump right into it. So today we're talking about the single most important resource in your life, and that's time. All right. I think we can all agree with that. <laughs> and this is a, you know, this is a serious thing to, to any business owner. We have we all have the same 24 hours in a day, right? And it's what you do with that time that matters most. It's literally your most precious resource, the one thing that you can never get back once it's gone, right? Time isn't just minutes that are ticking by on a clock, right? The time is the currency of life itself. And if you're not careful, if you're not paying attention, you might find yourself drowning in what I like to call time debt, <laughs> right? Are you with me? So you're probably wondering now, what exactly is time debt? Well, you can think of it like this. Every hour that you spend on something that is not moving you closer to your dreams, something that's not moving you closer to your goals, well, that's like swiping your credit card for a purchase that you can't afford right now. You're racking up debt that you'll have to pay off eventually with interest, right? And here's the thing. Time debt doesn't just come with a huge interest rate, right? You think of you you think the banks are robbing you? You think you think the government is robbing you? See, that's the problem. You're focused on the wrong thing right now, right? You're thinking the government's robbing you. You think uh, the IRA, whatever. Time debt steals something even way more precious from you than the government or anything else. It steals your future. It steals time from your family. It steals your dreams. It steals that dream vacation that you've always wanted, right? It essentially steals every aspect of your life one minute at a time. Right. You see, every minute that you waste on trivial tasks or mindless distractions, every time you Netflix and chill, every time you decide to relax after work instead of working out. Right. Every time that you decide to sleep in rather than wake up early and get, you know, a jump on the day, every minute that you've uh, that you've spent doing those, all of those things is another minute that you could have spent building your empire, right? It's another minute that you could have used uh, reaching your goals, living your best life. Are you with me? So how do we break free from this vicious cycle of time debt? Because, you know, <laughs> that's the question here, right? Well, to break free, you need to start with a shift in your mindset, right? Instead of thinking of time as something that you, uh, you know, to be spent, with no actual go, you need to start treating time like the valuable asset that it truly is. As the great uh, M. Scott Peck once said in his book, um, "Until you have, until you value yourself, you won't value your time, and until you value your time, you will not do anything with it." I'll repeat that again because it's that good, right? Until you value yourself you won't value your time. And until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. So it's time for you to start valuing yourself and your time like never before, right? But how exactly do we do that, right? How do you actually start valuing yourself and your time, right? Well, first things first, you need to step back and take a long, hard look at your to-do list, right? Are, you, are the things on there worthy of your life? Like, are they moving you closer to your dreams or are they, you know, are they just busy work, right? That's keeping you stuck in the same old rut, right? For me, like, I didn't even have an actual to-do list when I first started. Like, that was my first mistake, okay? Like, I remember taking uh, or talking to my... Uh, my mentor, right? 
about managing my time better. I literally dropped him a voice message and said, hey, I'm having problems getting stuff done. I need some help with my time management, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like I was reaching out. And the first thing that he asked me was, well, what does your day look like? Right. And, and you know what? I went through what I like what a typical day looks like for me. And then and then he asked, um, you know, OK, so here, here's I, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down every activity that you do throughout the day. And then we'll compare that with your to do list. Right. What's on your to do list? OK, that's what I said. Uh, well, I don't even have a to do list. Right. So so long story short. He had me write down what I worked on every hour of the day. And then we worked on a to-do list of, you know, and things slowly started improving, right? The point is, you need to have a good understanding of where your time is going to have an appreciation of the time that you have available and to make that the most of it, right? You need to... uh as funny as that sounds, you need you need a time budget, right? You need to know where your time is, like where's it going, so that you can prioritize these different tasks that you think are prior a priority, but maybe not. You know what I'm saying? And so, because again, until you uh, value yourself, you, you won't value your time, right? And until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. All right, you need to. Again, you need to understand where your time is going and then say to yourself, is this activity worth my time? Is what I'm doing at this moment in time worth my time, worth me spending time on it? You need to treat yourself like a CEO because you are, right? You are the CEO of your business. And as the CEO, you need to protect your time. Remember, we only get one shot at this thing called life. So let's make every moment count. Let's break free from the time dead and start living life on our own terms, okay? So there you have it, my friends. That is my tip for today. Remember, time is your most valuable asset. Use it wisely, all right? Use it to build the future that you've always dreamed of, okay? So if you found this episode helpful, if you found it inspiring, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. And if you have any uh, questions, any topics that you'd like to discuss uh, discuss in the future, <laughs> feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to follow the link uh, down in the description for access to my free masterclass training where we're going to unveil the exact steps to make your dreams a reality. We're talking actionable insights, real world examples, and step-by-step -step guidance on everything from building passive income streams to leveraging the power of online assets so that you can create your own. I want you to build your own financial fortress to, uh, to, to guard you against inflation and ultimately to create freedom of time, my friends. All right. Until the next time, I want you to stay legendary and I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care now. Bye.